What we're going to be looking at here is a deferred payment contract to purchase a long-term asset on a long-term credit contract here using either a note or a bond here or an equipment contract and we're specifically going to be looking at here just using a note. To properly reflect the cost, you account for the assets purchased on this long-term credit contract at their present value of the consideration exchange at the date of the transaction. And you use the imputed interest rate in this case for this note that we're going to look at here. So for our example here, Corporation A purchased a special machine here from Corporation B in exchange for a five-year zero interest bearing note payable having a maturity value here of $70,500 and the market market rate of interest here on this note payable here would be a 12% and it's going to be a single payment here at the end of the fifth year here. So Corporation A would use the cash exchange price of this asset acquired if determinable as the basis here of measuring the interest element. So all these notes have a interest element in them here when you're exchanging them for this equipment. But for this example you cannot determine the fair value of the asset then we're going to use the present value of the note exchanged here on this equipment. So what we would be doing here if we were able to determine the uh, value here of this equipment we'd be using that here uh, to impute our interest to determine what type of uh, the interest that we'd have on this note that's being exchanged for this equipment. But in this case we can't determine the um, uh, value of this equipment so what we're going to do is just use the present value here of this note that's exchanged for the equipment. So let's look at it here. So what we do for this uh, it's going to be for a zero interest bearing note here so all we have to do is determine the present value of the principal out here. So the present value of the principal here we'd have a 12 percent interest rate and it's five years out here and there's no interest payments here it's just going to be one single payment here at the end here of seventy thousand five hundred dollars and what we're going to be doing is discounting it back here to the uh, current present the present value here at the current date here the beginning of the period so discounting that back here at twelve percent to seventy thousand five hundred dollars we come up with a present value here of forty thousand approximately forty thousand dollars now this represents the fair value of the machine here at the um, current date here so what we have to do uh, is we have to set up an amortization schedule here and I'm just going to go through it very quickly here so we have the fair value of the machine we know that it's um, the carrying value here this note here at the date here of issue is a forty thousand dollars now at the end of the fifth year here we had the note payable the maturity amount here is seventy thousand five hundred dollars so we have a difference here um, that we have to discount we have to amortize this forty thousand uh, dollar amount here the present value here at the issue date up to the maturity value here of seventy thousand five hundred dollars here uh, when the note comes due so the discount on this notes receivable is simply the difference between our seventy thousand five hundred uh, here at maturity less our forty thousand dollar present value so we have thirty thousand five hundred dollars that has to be amortized here and we're just going to use this effective interest rate method here I'll go through it real quickly here and it's going to be based on this twelve percent uh, rate of interest here so our carrying value here at the date of issue forty thousand dollars so our at, at the end of year one our interest expense here would be just forty thousand times twelve percent or forty eight hundred dollars and then for this zero interest bearing uh, uh, no note here with a single payment all the discount that be amortized the same as the interest expense here so our discount amount here we would uh, $4,800 we'd add it to the beginning carrying value amount here $40,000 come up with a new carrying value here $44,800 so the next uh, payment at the end of year two here the interest expense would simply be the 12 percent times the $44,800 we come up with our interest expense here of $5,376 so just adding that here to our beginning balance we come up with our new carrying amount here of fifty thousand one hundred seventy six dollars now we would just continue that amortization until we got up to our maturity amount here of seventy thousand five hundred dollars end of year five that would be a single payment here now just to note here uh, we went through this note here and all notes have an interest element due to this time value of money so this is the interest element here we determine on this note here that was exchanged for the equipment here. So now let's go up and look at our journal entries here. So first here starting with our equipment and of course this is on our balance sheet. This is the capitalized value here of the equipment. That would be uh, we would debit our equipment account here for $40,000. That's based on our purchase date here on the beginning of the 
period or the beginning of the first year here and that was our purchase date and so we our equipment we debit for forty thousand dollars and then our notes payable we would credit that here for seventy thousand five hundred dollars now remember we had uh to amortize that discount here down so let's go look at our, our discount on our notes payable here we have a debit amount here of thirty thousand five hundred dollars and then uh for the discount on that here so at the purchase date here you got this discount of thirty thousand five hundred dollars a debit amount here your equipment is debited here for forty thousand dollars here so that amount here balances with our notes payable here of seventy thousand five hundred dollars now uh going back to our discount on our notes payable we just amortized that uh thirty thousand five hundred dollar amount down to zero uh, here at the end of the fifth year here and that comes off our amortization schedule now this discount on our notes payable this is where we'd be recognizing interest expense here uh for the for the five years here and that's just the diff uh, credit here our discount on the notes payable for the amortization amount each uh, year here and then we would recognize the debit the same debit amount here for the interest expense here on this uh, for this note a uh, discount here on our notes payable and this would be the annual annual interest here on this notes payable here now uh, this here we're recognizing here on our income statement here and then the discount on notes payable is on our balance sheet here. And then let's go up and look at what we would do here uh, when this note comes due here. So we had the $70,500 amount here uh, sitting at our notes payable here at the purchase date. Then at the end of the fifth year here, the payment here, we just debit out our notes payable, reduce it here to zero here. And then we'd have this cash payment. We'd be crediting our or reducing our cash here by $70,500 on our balance sheet. So what we've done here is we just went through the simplest form here where we had a deferred payment here where we exchanged a, um, a note payable here with a single payment at the end of the uh, uh, period here or the end of the fifth year in this case uh, for some equipment here. So what we had to do is we had to determine the capitalized value here in the equipment and that was simply the present value of the note that was exchanged here. So when you're working with these uh, uh, the, these capital property plant and equipment you have to determine what the capitalized amount is and in this case we didn't know what the equipment cost was but we had uh, exchanged a note here and we had to uh, ba based on that here we can determine what our equipment value was based on it being the present value here of the note that was exchanged.